beautiful people. So today is February the 8th. Yeah, February the 8th is the Monday after the big Super Bowl. Woo, 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 woo. Now, honestly, if you guys know me, you know that I watched the Super Bowl for two reasons. The commercials and Beyonce. Hey, hey, hey. That's my girl. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, love me some Beyonce. She slayed per usual. What's new in life? She always slays. So now I got to figure out how I'm going to get to this concert because I got to get my coins right, you know, because I got to see her. I've never been to a Beyonce concert, like, so sad. But I'm determined to go this time. Like, I have to go. But anyway, so the Monday after the Super Bowl, you know, everyone goes crazy on social media about this and that and the other. Well, this year, everyone is going crazy about, because this year it was the Panthers versus the Broncos. And, you know, the Broncos, they had Peyton Manning. Panthers, they had Cam Newton. So, obviously, Peyton Manning is white. Cam Newton is black. So, per usual, the race card must be played. Now, obviously, hello, check my skin. I am black. Ta-da! Wow. But, um, I just get really tired and overwhelmed by every single thing in the world being a race issue. Yes, are some things in the world a race issue? Absolutely. Bruce brutality, for example, it's a race issue. Other things, not so much. Like, people were posting on like Facebook and Twitter saying that, you know, the NFL is racist and that's why Cam Newton didn't win. What? No, you guys. Cam Newton didn't win because he didn't play the best. Like, that's how it works. It's a game. Whoever plays the best wins. Like, <laughs> what? I don't, I just don't understand. Like, it just blows my mind. Now, my mom, she was rooting for the Broncos. And I root for whoever she roots for. So I was like, go Broncos. Not that I really cared, but go Broncos. So she was really happy that they won, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm happy that Peyton Manning won, you know, due to the fact that he just is more humble than Cam Newton. And I just like to see humble people win. Like, I don't like arrogant people who think that the world owes them something to win because all it does is just build their ego and makes their head even bigger. Now, Cam Newton, he does come off as arrogant. He does come off as, you know... Like, if you saw his interview that he did where he, like, walked off or something like that. And I thought that kind of was, like, poor sportsmanship. So, it's just like, you know, you need to humble yourself, dude. Like, now, I'm not saying he should never win a ring and he should never win a Super Bowl game or none of that. Like, I want you to win, bruh. I want you to get your ring. But in order for that to happen, sir, you need to humble yourself can't be thinking you're Mr. Big Time, Mr. Big Shot, and doing all this crazy stuff that you do, and think that you're just going to get a ring, because what happens is, you aren't going to perform your best when you already think that it's owed to you. You're going to perform your best when you think that you deserve it, and you think that you have to fight for it. That's when you play your best, and that's when you win, and that's what the Broncos did, that's what Peyton Manning did. They went out there. They didn't play their best game, but they played better than the Panthers, clearly, because they won by like 14 points. But moral of the story is, like, apparently I'm racist because I was like, Cam Newton shouldn't have won and all this stuff. Like, I'm racist. No, definitely not racist. I'm a human being. Like, everything's not based on race. Like, it drives me so crazy when everyone thinks that everything has to be a race. A race. Now, I come from a multicultural background. If you don't know that, I'm fact about me. I come from a multicultural background. I'm not a person black. I'm not going to go through with my nationality and ethnicity. That's a whole other conversation. But, so I was just raised to treat you as human. Not based on your ethnicity or nationality. You are a human. That's just how I was raised. That's just how I see things. And 
I'm racist because cause if you follow me on Twitter, like I went on this whole like rant or whatever. Um, and people were like coming at me crazy. And I'm like, you guys, like I'm not saying Cam Newton is awful. Cam Newton has done great things. He's inspired other young black men to believe in themselves and believe that they can accomplish their goals and things in life. That's awesome. He's also one MVP of the season. And I feel like Cam Newton needs to look at the bigger picture of because I feel like some of some of the rewards and stuff are being taken away from Peyton because everyone wants to focus on the fact that Cam didn't win instead of focusing on the fact that Peyton did win. Peyton hasn't always been a humble guy when in, in his younger years, you know, he had his moments or whatever, but he's humble now. Even listening to after the game, all he wanted to do was kiss his kids and his wife and just thank the man upstairs. Like, that's all he wanted. Like, he was happy he won, but afterwards he just wanted to go chill out. Like, you could just tell he was so humble about the whole situation. And I feel like, you know, that's why I'm glad he won. And I feel like he deserved to win because of that. And because he's learned to humble himself. Once you learn to humble yourself and, you know, thank God for the reason you are here, that's when you start getting those wins. my whole thing about